Hi everyone, I'm the Bibi, and welcome to... Hi everyone, I'm the Bibi, and welcome to Top 10 Anticipated Games. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and if you want to do anything, let me know in the comment section down below. But for now, we're going to get into this right off with number one. First, I'd like to say that these are not, you know, my things of what are the most anticipated games. This is my opinion, what I'm excited for. So we're going to jump straight into this with number one, which is Fallout 4. Pit Boy Edition. I've got the Pit Boy Edition. I was very lucky to get it. I was the second to last person to get one for the PC. So I'm getting the Pit Boy Edition for my PC. Um, I'm probably going to do a box, so an unboxing video to show you the actual Pit Boy. And yeah, I'm going to leave it for the installing of the game, and yeah, I'll do a little playthrough of it because yeah, I think it's going to be a really interesting game. The map's apparently massive. There's just everything in the game that I can't even think of. It's going to be brilliant. But yeah. So that's going to be done, but yeah, so we're moving on now from number one to number two, which is Battlefront. This is the new Star Wars game that's coming out a few weeks before the movie. Yeah, it's coming out before the movie. Um, we're going to have, yeah, there's going to be, well, from the trailer you can see you can play as Luke or Darth Vader, where we actually shoot things, you've got destroyable environments, when you blow things it's not just, it actually looks realistic, it's really good, it looks like the movies. It's going to be absolutely brilliant, I'm going to play, play through that as well, I've got that on my PC. Day release, hopefully I should be able to put it on the day after it's released, because internet. But yeah, so we're moving on now to number three, which is Pokemon Go. I know a lot of people may think, oh, I'm, uh, but yeah, Pokemon Go it was released um, a few weeks ago. Everyone went crazy about it, the trailer looks brilliant. I'm not sure how it's going to work, because I can imagine, like, you know, in some places you can't catch certain Pokemon. And if you're in England, in the middle, in a, in like you know a town where I am, where is there going to be a big event? I don't think that many people are going to have it for there to be a big event in some places. So some people are going to miss out on the full experience. But yeah, that's a game I'm really excited for. Really excited to see how it goes. Moving on now to number four, which is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. This is what I've been waiting for for ages. I've always said they should do a game in London, and now they've done it. This was. This has been, you know, rumoured for like since Assassin's Creed 3 and they've finally done it. London is coming. Um yeah, they've got the grappling hog, zip wire, oh just looks amazing. I've not played Unity yet, because apparently that is the best one so far. But yeah, I played every other one. The only ones I don't like, which was Assassin's Creed 1, because you have to be like level 9 to counter a move. And Rogue, I thought the storyline for that was absolute dog wash. I know some people don't like the game altogether for various reasons. But yeah, I really enjoy it, I think it's a really good franchise. And yeah, I can't wait for to play Unity on my PS4 now. I couldn't play it on my PC because I don't have the specs. But yeah, PS4, let's go in Unity, I'm going to get Syndicate and hopefully be able to record some of them when I get them. Moving on to 5 now though, which is No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is a, not, is a game that's not really well known. But um, yeah, you get, to, you get to build up, you get to a spaceship. And you can travel solar systems, different u different universes, different planets. You get to go there, ex um, like get the DNA of all the creatures, level up your ship, you I assume. And you can either be a threat or just there for DNA purposes and research. I don't know that much about the game, but it seems really cool. I've seen a few gameplay videos. And yeah, there's, I don't think there's a release date as of now. But yeah, hopefully there is one going to be soon. It's on the PS4 and possibly PC. I'm going to get on the PS4 just because then it'll be full HD and I won't have to upgrade anything if I need to. But yeah, so going on from that, number six is a game that I heard about a little while ago. I'm not sure, it's just past its Kickstarter, you can pre-order it. Um, it's called Perception, it's a really interesting horror game where basically you walk in, you walk into a house and you're blind, technic, sort of. When you move and you do a full step, it sends out a wave of what you can see. And that's how you see throughout the whole game. It sounds like it's going to be really scary. I really hope so. I'm going to do a gameplay video hopefully. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be a really interesting game to play as well. Uh, as I know, there aren't any, there aren't that many games like this. Number seven now, which is Black Ops 3. I know I sound like a real cod whatever, but yeah. Um, 
I've played all the Call of Duties from 1 to the most current one, Advanced Warfare. I stopped after Ghost though. For a while, I've only played Advanced Warfare recently. The zombies on uh, Black Ops 3 looks really interesting. I can't wait to play the actual storyline. I've not heard much about that, but it's going to be good. Yeah, I've got a PS4 so I can play that with any of you if you want. I'll leave my PSN down below if anyone wants to add me. And yeah, hopefully we're gonna, um, I'm going to get that. See how the zombies are, because there's a the little ball, uh, like, sweets. You get tentacles, you can, just everything, it looks really good. I'm not sure about the boss levels, that doesn't seem like the original zombies that obviously everyone fell in love with, but I'm definitely going to give it a go, it seems really interesting. But yeah, we're going to move on to number 8. Lego Avengers. I played um, Lego Super Heroes with Connor. Uh, his channel's linked in the description below, he's doing videos now. Uh, yeah, played that, it was a lot of fun. You know, just trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, but a lot of fun just messing around on it because obviously it was superheroes, so just mess about. And yeah, Avengers, I'm not sure where it goes up to. I'm not sure if Ultron's involved there, if it's just the first Avengers. But yeah, that's going to be really good because, well, all the Lego games are really popular. But yeah, I really hope this is going to be another popular game. Moving on, number nine Dishonored 2. I've not read a lot about it. I think he plays the same guy he plays as number one. And that was really good with all the like powers and just the assassination. It was really good. It was kind of like a stare off on Assassin's Creed. You could be stealthy or you could just go in and kill people. But it's from first, yes, yeah, from first person. It's going to be really interesting to see because I don't really remember the storyline of number one. But I've definitely played it. I'm going to play number two. And yeah, that should be really good, hopefully. But yeah, we're going to end this episode then with number ten. Which is Lego Dimensions. I might be getting this, but the price of for the starter is about ninety pound. I'm not sure what that is in other countries, but yeah, ninety, it's about ninety five English pounds. And yeah, it looks really good. You can put like Batman in Back to the Future universe. You can put Doctor Who in Gotham. It seems really good. I'm not sure if there's a story mode or if it's just full on messing about. But yeah, it does look like a really good game. I I am excited, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick it up. If you have £95 lying about, you can send it to me or you can buy it for yourself. It's on PS4, Xbox One, and I'm not sure about the other consoles, but it's not currently on PC. And there's nowhere to bring it on PC. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. I've not had a top 10 planned. Um, I am going to start doing PS4 gameplays. I'm probably just going to put one or two up just to test it. Test that I've got my microphone working and, like, you know, a party chat if I'm in with someone. Um, yeah. Call of Duty that's coming on, and then hopefully some other games as they come out. But yeah, so remember guys, if you didn't like enjoy this video, then hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you want me to do anything, link in the comment section down below. I've got PS4 now, like I just said, so if you want me to do anything, let me know. And yeah, my name's linked down below for PSN, and yeah, see you in the next episode. Bye guys.